time, this time, they will be battling it out on Vertigo of all maps. Who takes it home? All right then, Copenhagen is what you've been waiting for. The third map, the desk has discussed it. And I've got Chad Sponge Birchill of Vox Eminor fame. He's attended majors himself, and now we watch as Team Spirit, with two players at their first, are looking for a semi-final. FaZe Clan, the gatekeepers of playoffs. My expectations and a lot to discuss, but let's get this pistol started first, Chad. Pressure on to Rain, over towards B. There'll be an explosion of Glocks in his face momentarily. The Jiggles, precautionary on both sides. That's enough from Rain. Seen enough. They're falling Pressure. through. Mounting, committing. Look at this util dump. They're trying to isolate them, but they're already here. They're in front of the util. Spirit, get a rude shock as there drops. Carrigan, Roki. It's a full roster run now. Chopper, Magic's fighting tooth and nail. Double from Chopper. Hold on. Chopper with three. And a potential fourth up. Against Carrigan, no less. It's IGL versus IGL. Captain versus Captain to start off. Map three, it's Carrigan to take it. A triple kill, and he just stands up. The King Carrigan in the Royal Arena. He's the showman for a reason. Entertaining here this evening, in the server and out. And even in the veto, Vertigo. Who saw this one coming? There was always a chance, there was always a conversation, but the discussion is, is this Spirit's weakness? Or well, this is one way to test it. FaZe, their perma ban. <laughs> That's so crazy to me. In a major quarterfinal, you're playing your perma ban against the number one team in the world. It's kind of crazy to see it unfold <laughs> in this fashion, but showing that Carrigan, masterful in moments like this. Loves to throw a bit of a curveball. Playing some great counter strike this evening is... Wouldn't be the first time we've seen FaZe pull this out. For the first in a long time, and the first since Frozen's joined. So always having the availability up the sleeve. This is a map Frozen's played plenty of. Yeah, it's absolutely. not uh, unusual for him. Oh, he's got caught. Covered. Necessary cover there from Brokey, but... Donk will reveal that AK. It's all very short-lived. I mean, what is that? One frag? Yeah, not going to be too uh, too worried about that one if you phase. 2-0 start. Chopper dropping that AK to Donk and empty-handed. Yeah, we'd want to get a whole lot more damage with an investment like that. And if we're keeping track of the pistol round, Spirit won both on Mirage, lost the map. FaZe won both on Nuke, lost the map. FaZe have won their third going into map number three, and we'll see if that ends up being a difference maker, but the rifles are out. Chopper now just operating with a Tech-9. Rain, MP9, Rops the same. Progression smoke up the ramp, Doc charging the Marauder. Ooh, oh, Frozen a... sits him on his oh, ass. Oh, stunning start. Frozen getting away with murder time after time. His nuke performance was admirable. Mirage as well. Frozen stocks are flying through the roof right now. Yeah, he's had some big impact rounds. Some rounds where he shouldn't get more than one. Able to walk away with a multi. Well, this one's stalled out immediately. And Spirit attempting to set the tone with a pretty standard play. Vying for that ramp control. Brokey. Once he takes that peak, you can see Chopper not considering oh. it. Brokey <laughs> in the back, and that'll be the round. Yeah, it certainly will be. And also, there's so many good Vertigo teams now that... How long did they have, Chad? Four days? Five days? I just wonder at what point, once they knew they were playing against Spirit, did they decide that they were going to allow this through? Because, you know, you're going to have had to have prepped in the lab, you're going to have to work out your basics. Yeah. But do you then, if you're going to slip it through to the third or potential map, right? Spirit decided to take it here. It not Spirit's not, choice. Exactly, not face. So they must have known that it was going to be a possibility. But how much prep time do you put into something that may or may not occur because you're not picking it? Mm. So there's all these 
I mean, it already looks, yeah, that uh, FaZe Clan, they've got their roles distributed. I think it makes a lot of sense to be putting Frozen and Brokey in premium positions. But this is the thing, it doesn't even matter. Because you could just yeah. chop and change. You're right, right. you're right. We could do whatever the hell we want, whenever the hell we want to. It's not like Team Spirit have got an expectation. No, not at all. So they're learning on the job right now. What do you make of this then? So it's going to be kind of a semi-threatening half buy. Yeah, well, next round they will get that max loss, so we will see a full investment. But this is about to see the pedigree of a team who does play this map, right? What kind of little pocket strats do you have? And this is the thing, if they were so worried about Vertigo, they could have just taken it to Ancient, some territory where they do some great work as well. And I do like the fact that they've called the bluff. That, for me, shows that Halley and Chopper, they've got some big balls to work with. Clean with it. Testing middle, Robs. And Rain's actually pushing the issue, pushing the limit. Comfortable from Rain, nothing yet for Team Spirit. Drops, overlooked, Magics. Dead to the AK-47, running him down is Brokey. This is a very comfortable start for, for, for FaZe. How many frags have Spirit got? I think it's four, yeah, four total in the death column of FaZe so far. Chop has been given some space, but only for a moment. As soon as he starts to punch those digits in, he will be a dead man. Make it five, excuse me. Oh, he's actually being gifted the plan. Oh, no, no, he won't. Frozen just denies. It felt like he had enough time to get that one down. But regardless, don't you worry. There will be a spirit bite. Second gun round, map three. Need to make a mark, need to make a dent. Yeah. Rain still operating with an MP9. 7k in the bank. Be loving that. It's a very good start. A great start. No for that. Look, if this was back and forth and they were having to fight and scrap for these rounds, like the pistol round came to a one on one, sure. But since one way traffic. Here we go. Same phase philosophy. Carrigan made it clear. Game plan. Play phase counter strike. R Robs. Noted. Almost certainly going to have been noted that the flash came through. Chopper's attending to the potential for ladder. But this just puts so many spanners in the work of the game plan of right. Spirit. Because you don't know what's going to be thrown at you in what rounds. So that's why in the first gun round, the fact that they just went heavy towards A, very standard, very simple stuff as far as Vertigo is concerned. Well, if you go for something a little bit more default heavy, there's a lot more to worry about. Rain fires off the MP9. Sold out towards B for now, but when is Rob's going to activate? They're waiting for this. There's a minute 10 on the clock. Yeah, if anything, he's just slowed them down. I feel like they have to clear him out or they can't go anywhere. Well, that's Magic's... He's giving it a go, but Robs is trying to catch these timings. Intermittently, just taking glances, magics, the same. <laughs> Look how one man's push has slowed down the crawl of Team Spirit. Had a minute go by, nothing's happened. Amazing. I mean, in terms of the power Robs has through a position alone and his restraint as well on these clears. Now he starts to cook 40 seconds and they have to commit towards the site. Frozen, Carrigan, ready themselves. No U-Till to stall out a plan if there is an execute coming their way, and well, we can see there definitely is. Rob's maneuvering on that flank. Magic's is the one responsible for it, but it's Frozen and Carrigan that need to be able to want keep the wolf from the door. Down goes Doc. It's big from Carrigan. Look at the damage. Chopper, Sontix hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Full flash, Carrigan converts. What is that from Magic? Time, time. If he could just get him off the ball. A fake, it's done. It's five. They can't catch him. Magic's despite the double broke. He's gone. Whew, take a breath. That one got intense. Everybody over towards A. Biffin locking horns and back and forth we went. Magic's getting two. Two on the flank. There must have been someone to join the party alongside of Rops right there. But Spirit, five in the hole and a second tactical timeout. This is not the start that they were looking for. This is not the heart, the start you were expecting, Jack. No, not at all. I thought FaZe was going to get devoured here, especially with the CT side start. Right, that pistol 
that could have changed the entire conversation so far. Yeah. If Spirit had won that, FaZe had to take an eco, first gun round, the tone gets set. They're the ones... That pistol. ...dictating the pace, right? The fact that Carrigan wins the one-on-one. -on -one. Now they're five rounds to the good. And here he's found impact as well. Stalls him out coming out short, completely blind. What, three bullets left, gets another kill. Four kills in the blink of an eye. Brokey denies the plant. Five on the board. Those are the type of rounds that I thought FaZe would have to be vying for. Look at Carrigan's reaction here. Like, it's just almost, he's, he's in sheer bewilderment that this score reads 5-0. A scaff smoke and a frozen push. They need the smoke to try and find him. Chopper throws a couple of bullets down range, but Frozen he lives on. Molotov will force him back. A bit more of a direct approach for the start. Zontic's been licked down to 50 HP with a Rain and Rob's duo. So mid is undermanned, as it were, but Spirit are nowhere to be seen. Zontic's heard that. Yeah. Late sweep of middle from this pair, Carrigan and Brokey. Good stall utility. That's a great little combo set. Pros is just delaying them. So while they play for info towards mid, towards B, they sweep. Make sure there's no real threats that now allows them to rotate back. Some good vertigo so far from face. Well, they're primed this time. They've got util to stop this. Yeah, not far off the mark. More util. Well placed. Oh, and Carrigan's aggression takes down Chopper. 40 seconds. Carrigan multi kill. Madness. As Frozen will take Dong. Magic's left alone. 1v5. What's a man to do? What can you do? Nothing. This is astonishing right now. Unbelievable. You highlighted it perfectly, Chad. The, the protocols are in place. Delay you till push for info, re rotate. The util they were barraging them with as well. Spirit's ears were ringing. They had to fight so hard to win Nuke, did Spirit. Uh, and I thought that would be a catalyst to see them propel forward with confidence going into a map that they know face don't play. Don't play. Well, right now, Donk has one kill. Zontix has zero. Spirit have zero rounds. There's an AK in the mix in the hands of Donk yet again. Some upgrades. Just staying stalled once more. Yellow smoke, pressure on rain. Up and over, Donk will get an entry. There's a way in. Could be problematic. Robs onto Donk. Chopper's found a gap as well. Brokey, however, he's holding firm. It's a two on three with 50 seconds left. The bomb gonna be getting escorted up towards the A site. Retake is on. Is there a round to be had here from Team Spirit? They're wondering, where on earth is the resistance? Where are the sound cues? There's no one here silently creeping. Brokey now, where's a fast get to cross? Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> How does it go down like that? It was supposed to be a Spirit round! Oh, dear. What can you say? Unbelievable. Ah. The pressure is on, isn't it? The fact that the shot's not being hit in a situation like that. The pistol's up close. And Spirit still yet to get around. This heart has gotten away from the magics. Offered a fight, Rob's falls. Bit of pep in the step early. 
Something that doesn't come so late. First and opening pick for Team Spirit. That, they've come few and far between, so it's going to be very important that they can convert this. Oh, yeah, they just need to get something on the board. Please. Not like this. Rain the B anchor. We're learning it. We're learning on the job here, Chad. It feels like every time they played this map, there's slightly been something different, and you have to go really back in the books. Seven times in total with uh, the four phase members. Now the addition of Frozen. Ram control this time round. And as you said, you have to convert this one. You got the opening pick, you've got Util for an exec, just get the bomb in, play the post plant. Yeah, sounds simple, doesn't it? Right? Ouch! There's the Zantara's Util. A HE between the two of them. Oh, more damage inflicted upon a rival. Still, though, they have the man advantage. Who will tip the scales? It's a big one from Shiro. Takes down Rain, Carrigan on the fast flank. No one's looking. Chopper is, gets the info. That should pretty much seal the first spirit round here. Now it's Carrigan, he's going to be condemned. Chopper knows exactly where he is. Just has to deal with this to Ooh. alleviate pressure. Ooh. But gives one back. Carrigan, he's trying to get out with his life. I would assume so. Well, they got plenty of cash, don't they? But I guess at the very best, Spirit could grab themselves five rounds in total. <laughs> Is he really trying to stop them from saving as much? Yeah, well, Brozy joined as well, so just trying to do some damage to the finances. They're going to have to push forward if they want to save, and creeping is Zontic, spawning out Frozen. They have been able to find themselves an escape route. Caprican all the way up towards the scaffolding. Bomb goes off. Terrorist. And there it is, finally. Spirit are able to get themselves around on the board. Maybe we have a map after all. Would have to be now, wouldn't it? Seven just flying out of the gates from phase. And I, it's still that sentence came out of your mouth about how different it would feel if that Carrigan and Chopper pistol round went the other way. You know, it really put phase in prime position. Carrigan leading by example has put them in prime position now for round nine. If they can find an eighth hit, Team Spirit. Surely it's their moment to make a half out of this. A couple of rounds on the truck could be required. And if FaZe just continue to save, they could even have rifles for the remainder of this first half of play. Spirit were given an opening pick in the previous. That was Rops with the aggression. This time, restrained. But the bombardment of B available. Look at this. Full lobby control. The assault on the side. This is difficult to deal with at the Whoa. best of times. A barrage of utility. Fane or rain. Futility or not. Magix has gone down. Donk has found a perfect opportunity. Lovely find. Donk destroys three. He's here now. He's here at present. Run down. Pushed by Carrigan, the star of the FaZe Clan show. He's set frozen up with something manageable. One versus two, a kit present. Bomb to be planted, Shiro punching in the code. It's Chopper in support. What do you have here? Mr. Sinanski, he's found the first. It's big from shot. Shiro goes wide for it. Makes it a second for Team Spirit. Don't have a conversation there about some of the pieces of Utah, but he did his job. And Chopper with a wipe of the eyes, you can see the pressure. Definitely on. Frozen with a real opportunity to be able to convert that one. Timeout for FaZe, maybe just catching their breath. Want to walk away with a half with a couple more if they can. With how this started, again, I'm still just catching up. You know, we come into this, the expectations of FaZe, you know Carrigan's been cooking something. But just the sheer fact that they were able to get to a 7-0 start. Feels like job done somewhat. Money available, another bite. Yeah, this is Donk. Nice little three piece from him. And then the chaos, right? There's absolute chaos coming out.
Brokey aggressive with the all. It's not a bit of a timer. How long can he stay here? Flashed off, peeks back. Zontix opening up the angle. We'll have to respect it. Another attempt on the clear. I'm so amazed the Frozen lives on here. This is a position that many a player gets punished. Oh, 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 oh. oh he had a chance there. Shiro alive and kicking. Good chip damage though. FaZe's protocols do seem quite well rounded. I'm impressed that Frozen was so stubborn, but... They need to be disruptive. It was the same conversation on Nuke, right? You could see when Kagan was wanting to push a lot, they couldn't just allow them to set up and execute, and they're trying to do the same. You want them to have Spirit agitated. You don't want them to allow to just be able to play through the game and go into their executes, take the space as they would. Because FaZe are going to have a tougher time dealing with set pieces. They haven't been in those situations. They don't know how to deal when the smokes and mollies hit the floor. Something that they'd probably only be playing against in pugs. So Spirit seem to have found a way back into this half. Nice clear from Rops. That's important from Carrigan taking down Chopper. 3 versus 3, low HP, getting that bomb down integral. Retake is on though. Oh, Rain narrowly missed his window of opportunity to try and hit the spam. If they go for this and they lose everything, you have big problems with the phase finances. You can see they're almost already starting to position as if they're not going. I say I tell a lie. Actually, Robs is throwing out the smoke short. That limits Donk's options here. Hoping Brokey can hit something. Are they going or are they not? They are starting to move. Now with Brokey down, a tickle on the bomb and an easy tap, Donk. Just walks out of the smoke, hiding in plain sight is Robs. Knows Donk's going to be on the retreat as well. Maybe some damage. A whole lot of damage. Takes down the orb, but Robs will meet Donk. But what does that mean on the grand scheme? It's seven to three. Yeah, if they were able to pull those saves through, we definitely could see a purchase. Now, this is where we're likely to see FaZe just take a couple of light investments, a few liberties. Maybe more than that. I've seen Carrigan actually buy an M4 and drop it. It looks like they're going to go all in. They're going to shove towards the center of the table with this one. An M4, some MP9s, a Deagle, and a Famous. They're going to fight for the rest of the half. Spirit are in a great position to be able to secure five rounds. Ooh, very blind. Donk, adventures cut short. This is a lot of space early. They're up. It's kind of a direct approach. And Carrigan, yeah, he tried his luck. Donk was ahead of it. Going for a bit of a run and gun with the MP9. Quick one back from Frozen. He's definitely in form, is Frozen. Magic's while flashed. Removes him from the equation. Yeah, this one. Falling apart piece by piece. It's not really the uh, type of guns you hope to be saving either into the final round of play for this half. That's true. A Famous and an MP9 just dealt with that one M4. Carrigan didn't even hesitate buying that and dropping that towards Frozen. But being diligent, our spirit. So they've worked back into things. That's going to be four secure up with the bomb going down 40 seconds on the clock. Both Brokey and Rops out of range. And maybe they want to try and do some damage again. Team Spirit and see if they can upgrade their weapons into something a bit juicier. Chopper's already starting to have a look with the MAC-10 in hand, see if he can buy them a safe passage out. But this is already, in my mind, considered half recovered. Oh, for sure. I mean, you, like you discussed. It, was, it, ha it had to be then. After the seven, anything more would become almost insurmountable, but Spirit finding their, their feet. I say Spirit. I think majority of them, sure, but I have to acknowledge Zontic's absence. He's having a rough go of things, isn't he? Zero and nine, yet to get activated in map number three. Not to say he can't. Yeah, it's just, uh, look, it's part of the, he's going to do his better work on the CT side. For sure. So he, he's not really an opening piece for them on the T half, but still not having any kills. It can start to play on your mental. Uh, for some of these younger players as well, something that sticks out like a sore thumb every time you hit tab. 
Yeah, you get into your own head about it. Start shying away from, from engagements that are favorable. Like uh, an early nade right on your face. Do you keep taking that B space? It looks like he will. Going through his procedures. This time Frozen's going to be set up with a little boost action. Carrigan. Gets him all set up. Sontics has done his job, right? Without any kills, sure, but he's been able to get the B lobby space. So he's applied pressure, kept two defenders over towards the other side of the map. There's and a now... massive gap, isn't there, Alex? Look at middle. Nobody attending to that whatsoever for phase. Just pretending it doesn't exist. And Donk down. That's exactly what that boost was searching for. An eighth round. Up for debate. Opening frag found, but still the weaponry advantage for Spirit. They're swinging for this. Swinging for the fences. One for two. Chopper good onto Frozen. Three versus three. Rotations on their way. Bomb on the back of Magics. This flash could be, yeah, mistimed. It's Brokey that's calling for it. And Magic's dead. Immediate snap straight from Brokey. The Latvian strong. Well, this is the time Zontix could have impact, help bail them out in a number disadvantage situation for five. There's a chance. Zontix about to be double peaked. It's Chopper actually getting all run down. Strong aim finds Rain. Oh, and Zontix, he builds around arm. After all, it's into the clutch for Brokey. Finding Chopper. Zontix, flash and get a cross. Hold up, he's going B. That's crazy. But you have to commit to the but plan. that's crazy. What the hell is this? He's not falling for well, it. Well, now, time to plan. Zontix, Five what's seconds? going on? No! No! Fought it there. He had 12 seconds. Brokey calls his bluff. You can see what was trying to take shape. Brokey just too wise to his game. That's pressure. What do you make of that? That's pressure. Yeah. That's, that, that's written all over his face. Oh. The, the, the fact that he's gone for that type of maneuver, right? He could have tried to have plant safe side in the site, would have been able to get it down. The player was condemned towards short. And that's the option he's going for. That right there is the definition of pressure in front of everybody's eyes. But like, that's such a fumble of a play. He gets his first kill in round number 12. Chopper's probably screaming that the nade's done some damage. There it is. And he, he decides to hightail it towards B. He had to commit. And I think the penny dropped as he started making that maneuver. Because if he got to the site, he just has to punch the digits in. And Brokey can run him down. That is such a fumble. That's a gift he's given them there. An eighth round for FaZe to work with for a semi-final spot. Eight to four, Brokey. We're having one hell of a Vertigo performance. And Magic's just gonna be spotting out early. Well, this is the thing, you have absolutely no idea what FaZe kind of gonna do on the pistol. You can't go back and watch the last few demos and go, oh, they like to go for this type of maneuver. Sure. Oh, Zontic still gets given the jewelies. Oh no, it's Carrigan again onto Zontix. I thought that was looking like a spirit pistol, but kept level by Carrigan's handiwork. He's up mid. Chopper's going to be tending to it, but Rock is a bit further forward than he anticipates. Oh, Rock with a double up. Straight into B. All of that just mirrors and fakery. Rob's out mid for the double to make a ninth round reality on their perma ban. Can you quite believe it? Drops. Oh, and Frozen. Hyping up his boys, Captain Carrigan. Can almost taste the semi-finals now. Well, they've tipped the pistols in their favor for the series. It's four to two. Lion share. And they've got Spirit on the ropes. Carrigan gonna look like an absolute genius if they end up pulling this one off. There's four more rounds required now to secure this map. And there's big conversation in the lead up. Certain games in the map pool, Navi versus EF. Well, Navi banned Vertigo. EF, don't play Ancient, that's a Navi weakness. You had this series. Would FaZe dare try and play into Vertigo, a map that's been discussed as a bit of a spirit weakness? And, well, apparently it is. Truth to that narrative indeed. Five rounds to the good are phase. And again, we find ourselves Team Spirit having to take this eco. And every single time, it seems like they give Donk a deagle and hope that he can be the difference maker. And he can't. Oh, oh no. Ray nearly gets three. 
I was wondering if they'd be, you know, aware of the nuanced clears required against some of these boosts, but Rain makes it comfortable. This is stunning work. And they are keeping the face, you know, it's, it's business casual. They're not celebrating too hard. It's been one hell of a series and it's not over yet. They're trying to forget what happened in Katowice. That too. That best of five grand final over in the blink of an eye. Kagan looked absolutely devastated on that stage. And Spirit were making a name for themselves. The ascension to the top had happened awfully quickly. We're in disbelief that someone like Donk could perform at that level. His first big event, pick up a trophy of that caliber. But FaZe, they've been hard at work. This is where the international squad, the rock stars, do their absolute best work. Some trickery in the veto, calling the bluff, and I'm wondering right now if Spirit are thinking, hey, maybe we should have gone with Ancient. Well, it's too late for that. That one will leave a mark. Chopper, good for one. It's frozen onto the Zontic swing. He needed one there. Instead, it's a man disadvantage. They don't have to rush this, Chad. Bomb on the back of Brokey. I feel like if you're Spirit, you have to gamble. Right? Still hesitant to leave his donk. Where are you? Magix is under so much pressure. Pulling up now, good work from Magic. Down goes Shiro, and it's all on to Donk. Rock in a hard place, Molotov and a smoke. Bullet from Rops into Frozen, and we've got 11. 11 to four, folks. FaZe can play Vertigo, it seems. And a timeout called, we were wondering when we'd see this. Uh, it looks like you've got Zontix, you can see the body language, he's slumped back in his chair, a, a, a miserable first half it, he could have really remedied the situation with that clutch situation yeah but the fact that he lost that in the fashion that he did the holes only got deeper and deeper the map that you go into where you can't even prep for your opponent and you picked it you kind of feel like you've kind of died on your own fallen on your own sword here a little bit and this 30 seconds from Halley would have to be some of the most inspired stuff he's probably ever said to this iteration of the spirit team this is more than a hole that they're in right now this team coming into the major. It's a black hole. Top of the pops. Tip of the conversation. And right now, well, Alex, they're going all in. They are going all in. They're not willing to give over 12 to FaZe with a discrepancy like this. They have gone for the four spy. Four MP9s and a Famous. FaZe, you've broken them. This is brutal. And for the first time in what feels like forever, bar the pistol, Chopper. He's pushing down ramp aggressive. I was more interested in that mid space. They found a gap, dumping util, some rifles behind Carrigan and his SMG. Smoke and go. Molotov. So much chaos. I mean, oh, the spam. Oh, oh Magix! Empty handed double from Rock. It's Donk go stubborn. Getting himself a double to make this round a potential reality. B is lost. Retake is on. No kit. Smoke available, though. Donk knows he's got to be proactive about this. He's being loud about this. Clearing his corners. Oh, he nails the first. It's Chopper to trade. And Spirit get a little bit of life. A little bit of hope. With MP9s and a FAMAS. And a chopper clutch to make it five. Well, that was all Donkey middle, wasn't it? That MP9 yeah. coming through. How does Carrigan swing around? He had no idea where he's even getting shot from. Magic's yeah, up in the window position on construction. Just feels like he's unloading the full mag and still can't get it done. A tight round. They do live to see another day. Great Oof. from Donk. This one as he swings in towards the side. Beautiful robotic and a great trade from the leader. Yeah, really hanging the balance of that. It had to be Donk and he's... Uh, well, it's the first of what would need to be many for this dialogue to shift. It's already so dominant. AK-47's out in force. Pressure from Frozen towards the B side. 
a nade and a swing. Good work. Duncan Magics put their heads together and find an opening. Change of plans. Whatever was lined up. A new conversation. I'll apply pressure towards middle yet again. They've missed that twice. That same Molotov hasn't hit the mark. I'm going to try and buy them. Oh, see decision how they want to opt forward. I thought he was lining up the molly to land top of scaffolding towards A. Rob's just going to search middle drive. Returns to it. There it is. They're flying blind on ramp. Fortunately for them, they threw it and nobody followed through. Phase are so far away from even being able to use that piece of utility that Carrigan just lobbed forward. Looks like Rops wants to join them. There's smoke, some flashes, and a molly to finish on towards A. Yeah, it is quite a split-up defense. Good timing on that smoke gap. Limits Carrigan's options. Starting to cheat a third over. Shiro this is so risky. Will join. They are erecting a boost. So risky. And Broke is going to go down, but it leads to the double. Oh no! Three on three. Rain will plant. He's open to the spray. Oh, Shiro! If only he knew. An opportunity presented itself. Carrigan's double. And now it has to be more from Carrigan. Partners up with Rops, a jump shot attempt from Donk. Here we go! Oh, Carrigan takes down Donk! A clutch for Rops. Does he call the bluff? I think he does. I think he does. It's a 10 second defuse. If they go for it, now the audible. On the hold, it was a wide defuse. And he's going to get the first! He's going to get them both! Rops pulls phase right into the 12. As Carrigan rounds that corner at short, and he sees a stack. You can't believe it. I, I, I'd be licking my lips. You're under so much pressure to go for a play like that. Like, it doesn't make any sense to do a boost in that moment. They can scale up ramp. They can push through short. That is such a risky maneuver from Spirit. And I think that, again, just backs up how much pressure that they feel that they're under. It's bizarre. It's so uncharacteristic to go. Like, the only reason you're going for that is if you think you don't have any info. Oh. They've just opted to, to play for some info and they just get absolutely destroyed. And then Rop's coming in clutch. There's no kit. They're not playing together. Spirit have fallen apart in the seams. FaZe have ripped them apart. They're just one round away. And Carrigan on home soil will get his revenge. A little technical timeout. A chance for us all to uh, screw our heads on time because this has happened. Yeah, I can't quite believe we're, we're here now. A 7-0 start after a Carrigan 1-on-1 on the pistol. It's just so crazy to be going for a boost like that. I still can't believe what I'm seeing. I still can't believe that Carrigan gets another frag. Don't look at Frozen standing up. They are so close. FaZe was so... Flustered. This is the major favourites about to be eliminated. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Many people thought the phase would make it entertaining, but Spirit were set to collect at least a grand final attendance. Flash. Donk, they really want to force him into these fights, and he happy to stand and bang. Zontic's forward push... Rops anticipating aggression. Zontic still not dissuaded. I'm going for something a bit more aggressive. He's supported by Shiro. SMGs leave it into a three on three. You'll take that if you're Spirit. You've still got Donk's M4 close. Look at Zontik's on the camera again, uh, just in Donk's feed. He, look at it, hands on the head already. He feels like he should have done more. Ollied out of position. Ollied out of position. No smoke! He goes for the swing! Phase two single frags away. Magics and Chopper, fate in their hands. Elimination from the Major. If he can't make this round work. 
Brokey, wide, Maddox, tries, fails. It's all on to Chopper to keep Team Spirit's major hopes. Or well, Robs with 18 seconds on the clock to knock Team Spirit out of Copenhagen. He gets the bomb down, playing around the smoke. Chopper, six bullets, six bullets is all he needs because we need another round. I, I have no idea how they're going to pull themselves out of this, though. Just, again, the, the body language from Zontix, like how shut down he is as an individual. I'm not just putting this all on him. It's the team overall. It's the team as a whole. Uh, this is would be the craziest of comebacks. We need to be inspired by, I want to say, the veterans of the team, but they're not even really veterans, right? They've been in major playoffs before the likes of Chomper and Magic Shaw, different iterations of rosters. You turn to Shiro. He's another name that you'd want to step up in a moment like this. Yeah, for Shiro, he was trying to escape the... Uh the quarter-final of limbs, trying to escape the high-pressure matches, falling flat. Well, you just need one more round. FaZe are going to take a moment of pause. Why not? They've got another one in the back pocket, should they require. They just need one round, Chad. A single round of Counter-Strike. Already 12 in the bank. And we'll see how this went down. Nice little double up, right? Uh, uh, you have Shiro there essentially baiting for Zontix to try and set him up for a couple of kills, and he did. Did contribute the way he needed to. Poise on the clutch again. Another chopper one-on-one -on -one to essentially keep them alive. FaZe, after the timeout, have decided to keep things quite modest. So expect a slower scenario. If this one gets out of control at all, I won't quite believe it. A late Deagle purchase in spawn. So we've got a pair of those. Take nine for Robs. And what should be one of the easiest rounds Spirit have played in this map so far. Yeah, shouldn't be too much to say about this one. Carrigan's just set a letter. Donk not shy. Happy to make the noise. Magic's the unknown entity. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, oh, hello. That. I thought he would have heard that. Magic hasn't acknowledged it, Alex. No, he hasn't. But this boost is what he's been waiting for. Thank you very much, Magic collects. A, a Carrigan clock, just uh, as a, a, a reminder. Yeah, what happened on Mirage? Yeah. Oh, as mentioned, it should be one of the easiest rounds. One casualty, that's fine. And that's all it's going to be. Donk. Grab another. But they are dealing with the finest of margins right now. Can't give up a single round. Have to mount a mammoth comeback. Going to need to get uh, five more consecutive to make it seven on the trot. Mirroring how FaZe were able to open up this map. And this would be quite the comeback. A comeback for the ages. But if you're ever positioned to do so, on your opponent's permaban that they floated would be the best place to be able to pull that off, I'd say. I'd agree. One would assume that when A and B stop working, there's maybe not a plan C. Donk in middle this time. Magic's and Chopper responsible for here the B site. Bombs moving that way. A test for Donk. A test for Robs. He just starts to maneuver away. No, thinks twice about it. Rob spotted it out. Don controls the spray beautifully. Heading back to A. Opening frag found, playing around that T side smoke. He's a nuisance, he's Donk. Back to A, as you say. Carrigan, next victim of Donk. Well, Zontix is hearing steps, can call the cavalry over. 38 seconds. 3v5 disadvantage, and Zontix feels like he's under a lot of pressure. Crossfire, one anti-flash, big headshot from Rain. 
But here comes Frozen. We needed to see more. 20 seconds. Brokey still has a world where he can finish it right here and now. Makes the steps away. Fakes the steps away. Had his chance with Magix. Now knows where they both are. He could do this. This could be Spirit eliminated. Unless Magix, one more bullet. One more bullet he extends. Holding on. A clutch from Chopper. And now a clutch from Magix. It's still sketchy. The, the fact that, that he gets a full reload off there is insane. It's just so, so sketchy. What is that setup as well? Nobody acknowledging the, the opportunity for anybody to come out short. It's, it's kind of insane what we're seeing. Let's go, Let's go. The fact that they scrape through yet again. I'll remind everybody, this was a 5v3 number advantage thanks to Donk. That turns out to be another one-on-one -on -one situation. And the pressure in all of these moments. Bomb goes down, Diffuse comes through. Money there for FaZe to partially invest. They're going to go fast towards ramp with these flashes. Okay. Zontix feeling the scrutiny. They've got a boost, though. It should be good for one. Shiro dismounts. They've got the bodies here. Plenty of util to spare. But just a full barrage of HE grenades and Molotovs. Sendieries, to be specific. Carrigan cleared. Nice headshot from Shiro, starting to warm into things. Ouch. Nothing for Frozen there. And Rops was the man throwing the flashes to facilitate that push. The polar opposite side of the map right now. Magic still had to rotate away. Yeah, what's the best case here? An M4? A confidence boosting kill, I would imagine. But this is the thing. Now that all five get to stay alive, we have just had a uh, disconnect from the server. So we're going into another quick little technical. I'm not sure if these help or hinder Spirit, right? because it gives them a few more moments, but they have to sit in silence. They can't converse. They can't sit there and discuss how they're going to move forward. They kind of just get to sit and sour in the fact that they still need to have three more consecutive rounds. Yeah, but that feels to me like it's in the realms of possibility. No? It's just it, it, these, these uncharacteristic type of maneuvers that they're opting for in scenarios make them look weak, susceptible to a round loss. It's just going to take one of those where it isn't converted in a nail-biting one-on-one situation and it's all done. Right. We'll just call it. Uh, in, in terms of should it be you know, a real opportunity for Spirit to be able to bring it back, yeah. But there's just been some really interesting choices made. And again, you can see the pressure on their faces. Zontix is the embodiment of that. Yeah, and when you, you hear Counter-Strike players, legacy Counter-Strike players reflecting upon the games, the ones they won, the ones they didn't, it's much less the wins that stand out. You never forget much the bad losses. Or the losses, the advantages you had and squandered. Four in a row so far. Spirit have been battered and bruised. Two clutches in those four rounds. Going down to 1v1s. FaZe just need that one. That one exception to what is fast becoming the rule. They've avoided all early utility damage. Full focus in the ranks. Zontix. Good info play. Yeah, he's flirting with some aggression here. Donk back in his hidey hole. There's no one home. This is a massive three. push. Yeah, he's gotten a great deal of information. He should just play to contain. He doesn't need to go any far forward now. They have all the info. They have all the info. Zontix, fortunate frag. Does that slow your roll? You have no choice if you face. You kind of have to finish B. Yeah, but look at this setup. This setup couldn't really be better. Donk's just going to sit here for as long as he can. Spotted by Magix. Magix is going to be the one to... Oh! Ooh, Magix gets his smoke down. Frozen still trying to force this. Going in hard. Swung on by Doc. Kept honest. Flames. Oh, nice headshot. Takes down Rain. Only two left. It's Robs. It's Brokey, but they have found Donk. Have they got more here? Robs, double swing. Shiro closes. All right. All right, then. Two more rounds required, and we would see another OT. This is where the strap book starts to run a little bit dry, right? Because for FaZe, you will have come up with a bunch 
of different approaches. You can even see when they're trying to line up utility, they're not always certain. Double checking the dots. You, know, right. you saw Brokey there as well, highlight by our ops team. Just making sure that he has the correct lineup available for the util that they're opting for. And the issues are going to become more in the mid rounds when it's slower. If it's quicker and they can find an entry and brute force their way into a summit, that's great because they can just play heads up Counter Strike. This is their third tactical timeout, the last that Faisal gets a call, unless we make it to overtime. And this push from Zontix, the fact that he played to contain, the fact that he hit that one, he's a body shot specialist. Really clean. Carrigan has been on some absolute menace form, rolling back the years. 19 kills for him in this one. He's been finding impact throughout the series. He really wants to push forward in towards that semi-final and take on Vitality. That would be a one hell of an affair as well, but... If, if I'm phased now, I'm doing something quite fast with right. these pistols. I, I, I really want to cause some chaos and, and see if I can push through the smoke and catch them off guard. Throws out an early lurk smoke. Will limit some of the early info for Team Spirit. Uh, they have enough to do this again, right? They, they can throw out another lurk smoke towards the ramp. They have three remaining. Here it is. So, so this is one way to keep a lot of boots planted towards A. It keeps them spamming, keeps them worried. Can there be any pop flashes through? And now they're going to actually try and pressure over towards B. So B lobby, they know that's theirs. A ramp, they can return to. How unfortunate is FaZe, or how fortunate a spirit going to be with some of these blind spams through the smoke? We've only got two players here. It's just Chopper and Zontix. There's a wild. Zontix and Chopper, they just have to be vigilant here. Lesser guns, Kevlar and pistols. Plenty of support. Rotations arrived and it's Donk actually at the forefront of this. He's gonna be, ooh, looking away. A Tech-9 bullet found his head. Broke his Deagle, has found one. And now Carrigan's causing a hover. Big from Zontix, combined with Donk, defend. Important. If they get to overtime and they win this map and they lock themselves in towards the semi finals you can forget about that 0-9. Oh, you can forget about that misplayed clutch. None of that's going to matter. Just one more round. He talks about not feeling pressure. This kid has managed to turn it around. Back against the wall, responding to FaZe Clan's run of seven with seven of their own if they want to bring this back. And we talked about mental. I'd argue FaZe's is going to be completely at least shaken if spirit can complete this run what's the final call of regulation is there a need for overtime range is a distraction they're in towards the lobby he's just kicking up a fast and he's kept Three sets of boots planted as Frozen has been parked now as well. So back and forth they go. Oh, damage through the smoke. Zontix chipped on down to half HP. That's unconfirmed damage. Shiro's AWP posted up. They're clearing out the right side so he can just keep posted with that AWP. That'll free up these rotation of riflers. Shiro's going to respect that. He's playing ahead of it. Oh, the flash was good, but the cover is better. It's Zontix with impact. Gets away as well. Carrigan going for a hunt. They try and isolate Magix, but he stands his ground. So does Dog. Team Spirit do not relent. Do not surrender. Oh. And Magix straight clean through the smoke onto Robs. And a Carrigan 1v5 with 30 seconds on the clock. They got 12, but seems like so did Team Spirit. We need more overtime secure. One hell of a comeback, the mental fortitude on display. This is Counter-Strike at its best. Counter-Strike 2, no less. I can't believe they brought that back with how wobbly some of those rounds were. A Chopper clutch, a Magic clutch. Chopper had two. Chopper had two 1v1 scenarios that he had to convert within this second half of play. I, I can't believe they brought this back with how shaken they looked. And FaZe, with so many opportunities. Oh. This is where their inexperience on the map has started to shine through. Yeah, and you want, have you got depth in your playbook coming into OT? You're right back in, trying to isolate Magix. He's safe and sound on the site. They have to take some more risks now to try and find some rounds, but by doing that, they can play into Spirit's hands. Oh, Brokey had a real opportunity there. Oh! oh! Jumper and Shiro! 
have opened up the account into OT. Oh, speaking about if Kagan wins this, it's going to look like a genius in the veto. What about the opposite? Yeah. What about that? Nice. What about that? Carrigan taking down Zontix on a jiggle. And Donk does Donk things. That's one hell of a wide swing. Robson Donk. An interesting matchup. In the meantime, Shiro actually, he wasn't holding this line, so Chopper will clear it. Oh, uh, excuse me, Carrigan and Frozen piecing together an impossible round. Shiro's not going to jump up. He'll go for a plant here. You can see the kit present. Oh, and the damage connecting. Good awareness from Magic's not letting him get away and reset. And look at the demeanor. Oh, that is one hell of a 180, Chad. They're smiling. Well, everything's reset now. We're in overtime. The whole dialogue shifts, the fact that they've been able to bound back into things. They've had to do this the tough way twice. There was overtime where they were in the lead on Nuke. In multiple occasions, they were to close, and they couldn't do it. They couldn't get it done. FaZe kept pushing and pushing and pushing them until eventually they had to cross the line. This time, it's a completely different conversation. They were 12 to 5 down. And we do have a couple of Spirit supporters in the building. Yep. But they were 12 to 5 down. Madness. Absolute mad. 12 to but 5. Think about all the, sink in. all the boxes that they're ticking, right? This team, they've only come to Ascension in recent time. Winning Katowice was great. They put the stamp on. They come into this major as the favorites. But they're going up against FaZe. The conversation was, oh, well, we've already seen this once. Unless FaZe show up on the stage, it's probably going to be another blowout. FaZe show up. They win Mirage. Played it 11 times, Spirit. Only lost it once. And FaZe pick up that map. Then we go to Nuke. It delivers. It gives us the entertaining Counter-Strike that we're looking for. But something that's different for Spirit is their mental gets tested. Yeah. And now completely down and in the dirt, Zontix, his body language throughout this game, the flub, the clutch, the lack of kills, and they're back. They're in the lead. And Donk just 17. 25 frags. 13,000 hours of Counter-Strike. Orb's perfect for this. Shiro. Oh, the restraint doesn't fall for the jiggle. It's Carrigan down and out into our second round of OT. Good chip damage. That nade swallowed by Donk. HE with success. Still a man advantage as a smoke plumes B. Oh, Shiro. Couldn't hit the shot there. Rain's been having a tough time on this map. But not today. Not in round... It's a good headshot. Chiro re-peeking again and again. He wants to try and bait him in, but yeah, down goes Sontix. That's a big round from Rain. Came into this round with nine. He could get another here. He knows Shiro's around. Good five, five, seven connects. Robs does not reveal himself. It's a three on three here. Robs going A. Yeah. He's hearing a lot of this. Robs reporting in. Shiro on the site. Here's the misses his shot. What is that? Rotation cut down. It's big from Robs. Donk CT. Shiro elevate a bomb planted A. Couldn't deal with Robs, but he's going to slink away. Shiro's only got one more shot before he has to reload. If he could just find one of them frozen crouching, he'll be a dead man otherwise. Smoking a kit though. Could get uncomfortable here. He's going to defuse. He's just going to hold it. He's just gonna hold it! Shiro! Oh. <laughs> 30 apiece! Brokey with just half a second in it. Gets the butterfly nice between his shoulder blades. And that was Rain in that round with the impact towards middle. Allows the second lurk. And the fact that they kill Zontix and Chopper, that's the A defenders. The call is immediately, let's rotate back. It should be an empty site. Shiro aware of that, having traversed the difficult territory, but those are the type of rounds that FaZe are going to need to continue to win. The nail bite is the clutches. The it's ones game. where indiv individuals can break them through. It's had it all. And it continues to do so. Let's go. Rain, this was his little spotlight highlight. Getting himself the double. Rob's good awareness hearing Magic's coming with this from Brokey. Look at this diffuse line. Look at the diffuse. Look at that! He had to get the knife out. No bullets, no time. He secures a 13 each scoreline. First OT, first to 16. Tough.
round for Spirit. They've actually had to opt in with two MP9s. Ooh. So facilitating utility in a round like this, they've foregone the firepower. It's Chopper and Zontix, the A defenders, needing to do it with the pocket rockets. So FaZe could walk away with two rounds on the T side. Clearer intent. They're going to be heading towards A a little bit quicker. Oof, team flashes, nades, copped, and everything there, right? Zontix with an entire team. Pressuring him. He passes the test. Carrigan flash and swing. Zontix will take that every day. Can he leave with the upgrade? Yes, he can. Grabs the AK, slips away. Man, advantage for Team Spirit here. Space towards B. Look, the side's completely empty. Magix is just... Oh. And they're so noisy. It's just some of these little flubbed moments, but will it cost them? Magix is not in the side. Yeah, there's still a way. Heading up now, flash height. Magix, he's got to try and get as deep in as he can, forced back by the util. They just trapped a gent. That's a good smoke to do, at least give them some room to maneuver forward. Channel, look at this, Chopper uses it. Charges forward, it doesn't matter though if everyone hits the shot phase. Oh, running him down was Dom, could only the double. Zontix handed an opportunity. Donk found two. If he can find the same, Team Spirit will swap half with the man advantage, with the round advantage. Just some ticks. Rain, low HP. No reason not to give this a go. They don't know. And Zontix clearing. This is the contact. This is the clear. Rain with low HP. Gets the angle. And it will be a phase two T rounds in our first overtime. That feels like a, a mammoth task. They've set the bar pretty high, Chad. Yeah, and now we're going to swap over, obviously, with the cash for Spirit to work with. And they were back into control once uh, they were able to stabilize in that first half of play. It was a 7-0 start from FaZe. A good comeback go, from Spirit to get themselves something to work with going into halftime. Donk, it felt like he was just going to lock it down single-handedly, didn't he? All the bodies get thrown. If Robs didn't stall him out there, that was probably it. But Frozen, happy with how that one feels. No AWP for Brokey. They're just going to go with five rifles. Aggression from Robs. This is what they were doing in the early stages. Right? They, they were being a disruptive force. They were in the face of Spirit, making sure they couldn't just default and take their time. That's how they were getting rounds. They were able to slow it down. Nice trajectory there. Frozen throws it out to imply thrown from Ellie. Those little details. Four leaning ramp here. Frozen, do you really want to go for this? You can see that there is a util set prepped. Holding the smoke was Chopper. Order ball. Good work. Punishes Frozen's push through the smoke. 40 seconds. Brokey ahead of the util. Smokes are up. The molly towards headshot. It's Carrigan on this re aggress. Oh, one, two. Brokey taking down Donk. This is all to play for with 30 seconds. The bomb, the pressure is on Magix. Great clear, great trade. Brokey nailing shots. Rain builds upon it. It's up once more onto Zontix in the 1v2. Ah, uh, he doesn't look like he's up for it. He doesn't look like he's up for it at all. 12 seconds. Yeah, there's just no 12, chance. He, he's out of his depths, mate. Oh, no. I mean, pick up the bomb. They're going to surely double peek here. You've got to plant. You've got to plant. Oh, not like that. 15 secure for FaZe Clan. It's so tough to see a player get swallowed by the stage like this. It's so tough to watch. Think about all these clutch situations that he's found himself in. He's found some contributions late, sure, but in any of these situations where, you know, needs to show a bit of shine, a bit of polish, he's ju just looked well out of his depths. It's tough. Uh, there's no doubt about that. This is his first major, the first time on the stage. You can understand it, but it's just difficult to watch because you can see the brain whirring, but it's just yeah. not making sense. It's not firing on all cylinders, but... 
broke he certainly is not his first major by any stretch and he's in pursuit of glory here in copenhagen team spirit they seem like the boogeyman of copenhagen another spirit comeback required i can't believe they did it once this time they have to do it on the t side I'm not sure how they're meant to even get into a round like this. Right, they, they were able to get the A-ramp space, it was given over. They get the opening kill. Chopper, silencing Frozen's push. And then they just can't get past the rest of the defense from phase on A. So even if they go for similar scenes, someone needs to break through with a multi, right? It can't just be one done trade, it's not enough. The full five-man unit committing Rob Ramp. So much at stake here, folks. Double smoke. Brokey. He's playing with fire here. Yeah, it's going to cost him his life. Big find. Magic gives Spirit hope. But they still have to get past. It's Carrigan's M4. Only the one. Bomb on Chopper. Bringing it in. Escorted through. Rain and Robs with it all to do. Not enough to bring down Shiro. Nade bricks him low. Post plant seems pretty solid. I say that as Chopper goes down with no trade. Magic's surely going to be overlooked, though. That's a power position. Shiro might be down. And now they know about Magic's. Not like this. It's the clutch. And it's Zontix with it all to do. A smoke so, and a kit, Chad. Oh, dear. A smoke and a kit. Zontix, can you hold your nerve? He's been having a tough time. And he still holds his nerve. We see another round of play. I thought it was curtains. I thought it was going to be that round he replays in his head at night tonight. But he holds on and he extends play. Oh, no change in expression. But again, left in a clutch situation once more. Oh my God, I started seeing the writing <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, and you can understand why Rain just immediately goes, I'm just defusing. This, this yeah. kid ain't got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, all of these rounds, that was a 2v4 retake on the side. Yeah, but it got close, it got Again. crazy. The amount of 1v1s in this game. Unbelievable. Okay, different call, uh, out of the game. Got your early protocols. Zontix actually looks like he's feeling himself, tries to go searching for any Easy fights on double stack. No one home. Takes down Brokey as the opening contribution. They want more. Frozen doesn't. They know there's two condemned. They know there's two suck short. A nice nade up front. Magix puts Frozen down. Forced to watch the rest of this round. Mid lurk still set up for Zontix. And he got a man advantage spirit. 30 seconds. Can you get another OT or will you trip over? Will phase. Take it. By force. That's a big find. Oh dear. Shiro, what have you seconds. got? Could he get B? Maybe he could, but Zontix all towards mid. Going around the world, it'll be audible. Zontix is serious. Zontix's got a gap. But wait, Robs. He's going to die in the back. No, turn around. Oh, Zontix! It's massive. Nine seconds, though. It can still go wrong. Zontix down. Five seconds. That's the kill. Oh, dead!